Once you have Associate Goliath completely set up and installed, you can then begin to create your product review posts on your website. Now personally, I recommend for you to create these posts very carefully. I really don't recommend creating them in bulk. Instead, you likely have your website centered around a specific topic or a niche. You can then manually select 10, maybe 20 products at the most that relate to what your niche is about. And then you can have Associate Goliath create posts on your site directly for those products. That way you don't have anything unexpected showing up on your site and you don't have an overwhelming amount of work to try to customize all of those posts because I do recommend going through each post that Associate Goliath creates and doing some customization to it. So with that said, there are a couple different ways that you can go about finding the products that you want to actually add in to Associate Goliath. You can do that through Amazon by simply searching out the products manually and recording their ASIN, which you can find right up here in the URL. Directly after GP product, you can see it is surrounded by forward slashes and it always starts with a B00. This will be your ASIN. So you can copy this and put this directly into the search bar here and do search by ASIN. Then you could have it either schedule your post or you can have it publish them all immediately. Now your other option is to search for the products. And you can actually search for them by selecting the search by keyword here and then type in a keyword phrase. Now you could go ahead and do the generate post option or you can do the preview results. And when you do preview, it's going to show you the products down below. You can go and take a look at the actual Amazon product page if you want to, to make sure that that is actually the product you are looking to find. And then you can just select these specific products and click on add selected. And then it will automatically generate those posts for you. Now with that said, before you actually start generating any posts, one last thing that I kind of recommend to do is to have your posts sorted in a particular category. Now this would especially be the case if you have different types of products maybe on your site, you would then definitely want to have multiple categories that these are sorted into. And this can help you with search engine rankings and also simply help uh, your website visitors to be able to find your content easier. Otherwise, you could just have them all within one category. So you can click on add new category right here. And for example, I could call this category microphones and add in my category. And then I can have my new post scheduled to publish under that category. Now everything else that you see on this page here, down below the search box, this is just going to help you when you are searching by keyword. So you can kind of refine your results using these options if you need to. However, for me personally, I'll usually just end up collecting a list of ASINs, often done by manually searching through Amazon. And then I will just have Associate Goliath create all of these posts for me automatically.
Now once this is done and you've gone through all of your different Amazon products that you want to add into the software, you can then go to the All Posts screen and you can actually find each of these posts that have been uh, generated for you, just like the one you see here on my screen. Now I am going to have a fourth part to this training series where I am going to go into some detail for you guys on customizing these posts. However, to conclude this lesson, I wanted to give you a little bit of information in terms of what I recommend to actually do with these posts on your site. What should they be used for? You could obviously create an entire website out of nothing but these product review posts. However, you're not going to end up with a horribly useful site that way, and it will be a lot harder to get search rankings that way as well. Google really wants to see something useful out of your website. They want a reason to put your site in the top of their rankings. So what I really recommend to do is to have separate pages on your site that are going to be more informational pages. And you can target these pages to specific topics having to do with the product that you're promoting. So for example, if you look at this product that I have here, the Sennheiser Office Runner wireless headset with microphone, best wireless headset for the office phone. I could have a post on my site that was talking about maybe an office call center environment and how it's really loud and noisy and how you're usually confined to your desk in a little cubicle and you can't really get up and move around or anything of that nature. But then I could also talk about solutions to this problem. You can obviously get things like a private office. However, if you are just simply like a customer support representative, this is likely not going to be feasible. So you could then continue to suggest things like a wireless headset that has excellent noise cancellation technology and also would allow them to essentially be able to wander away from their desk and still keep connected with their call. Maybe they need to go down the hall to another office to get something. All that type of stuff can easily apply to this product. And there's tons of other situations like this for just this one product. And any other product that you decide to try to target, you can easily come up with this kind of stuff too. So think along the same lines there and think of what informational, helpful content you can actually give people. They can be explanatory videos, they can be problem solving information articles, they can be um, things that talk about uh, different hobbies or different kinds of situations and products that might relate to them. There's all different kinds of angles that you can use and there's tons of keyword phrases out there that relate to all those different angles. So I like to put all this extra content on my site and it should all be uniquely written content. And then you can have that content kind of be the star of your website. And that content then links up to all of these relational product pages on your site. So you not only have a reason then for these product pages to exist, but you have a way to get traffic to them besides people simply searching for the name of the product. People can search for 
those different situations that you're talking about in your articles, land on your articles, and then get to these product review pages where they can then buy the products to you know, help them solve the problems or do the various hobbies or whatever the case may be that your article relates to. So this is how you take a plugin like Associate Goliath and actually utilize it to create a useful website with it. Another thing that you want to try to do is to organize your content. I'll generally use the posts within WordPress to be my product review pages. But then I will use the pages as informational content pages. One of these could be my home page, and it could kind of organize my content and maybe into a couple different categories. And then I'll create pages for those categories, which will then link up to even more pages on my site. And just one of those category pages might be a page that links up to all of the different product posts that are on my website. So using this tactic and this approach to building a website, you actually take these product pages and make them just a portion of your website. That way, Amazon can never look at your site and Google can never look at your site and say, okay, this guy is just generating automatic content to try to bring in traffic and refer affiliate sales on autopilot. You know, you need to essentially put some skin in the game before Amazon and Google is really going to respect what you're doing and allow it to flourish long term. And so this is how you accomplish that type of task, by putting value out there, by putting more on your site than just these product review pages. They are important. They are the pages that are going to help you earn money off of these websites. But that doesn't mean that you want to have a website full of nothing but these product pages. So I will often try to take however many product pages I'm going to create, multiply that number by two, and I'll try to create that many informational content pages on my site in addition to the product pages. So if I'm creating maybe 10 product pages on the site, then I might have 20 informational content pages on my website to give me a total of 30 pages. And so my product pages really only end up being about a third of the overall number. This type of approach is something I've used for a long time with my affiliate websites and viewers seem to appreciate it because the sites refer sales and Google definitely seems to appreciate it because they keep these websites in the rankings for many, many years. And when they release different algorithm updates, then the websites are not disappearing from the rankings like a lot of other automated affiliate websites are. So simply keep that kind of stuff in mind when you're utilizing Associate Goliath. You do want to use this plugin to help you save as much time as you possibly can. However, you do not want this plugin to be doing all of the work for you or else you'll end up with a website that is essentially just like other affiliates and ultimately there is no room for success with that type of approach. You need to uh, do something unique, something a little special that not every other affiliate will be doing. So my final part in this training series is going to help you guys to accomplish that, to give you some uh, direction on customizing these product pages especially, and some uh, additional tips to help you get all of this wrapped together so you can build complete websites with Associate Goliath in a fraction of the time.